The new KCI is halfway done. Now today we got a tour of the construction zone. The skeleton is up and things are coming along quickly. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar joins us now live from KCI. So Leslie, how much longer until we see the finished product? Uh, Brad, two more years before it's finished, but the bones are up now. So every update we get from now until then should be an exciting one. The new KCI is still a construction site with heavy equipment, piles of rubble and steel beams everywhere. But soon these walls will be enclosed and the state of the art terminal will start to take shape. When the new terminal is finished, we'll have 39 gates or areas like this. One of the shortcomings that we have in the existing facility is the lack of space. A lot of people fighting for chairs because the gate areas are so small uh, as aircraft have gotten larger over time. There will be about 130 seats per gate and more than double the amount of bathrooms on the secure side of the current KCI. There will also be moving walkways on the floors to help you get from gate to gate quicker. A state-of-the-art baggage handling system to transport luggage back and forth faster and a lot of glass prime for watching planes. Even the boarding bridges to get on and off a plane will be completely glass. We're at the midpoint of construction, have two years to go, feel very good about the schedule and the scope and the uh, budget for the project. So we're really excited that the project's in really good shape. The total cost of the project, $1.5 billion. And as of right now, it's not expected to go a cent over. Ultimately, the, the department and our revenues backed by the airlines are um, responsible for, for, for paying for the debt. The airport will also feature um, displays showing the history of aviation in Kansas City and the history of the land that the airport lays on. It'll also have a lot of local art, some of which will be approved by the Municipal Art Commission on Friday. Reporting live at KCI, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Leslie.